Steve McQueen escapes death trap. Take one and three, two, one. It's me. It's me and the system. The system. I don't mean to overstep myself, but would you like to join me in a pot of coffee? We sneak out at night to a spot I found near the wire. Then we dig straight down, three feet. Take the dirt, spread it on top so it won't make a pile, and then straight out. I got a rifle, a horse, and eight dollars. It'll hold. Home, none. Wife, none. Kids, none. Prospects, zero. Do I look like somebody's playing a practical joke? Am I laughing? Or am, I, or am I scared stiff? It's not gonna mean anything. We don't make it together. I can't, I can't remember. I'm stupid. I can't, I can't, I can't remember. You still playing, kid? No. I'm through. How are they gonna get the explosives up here? Oh, they'll find some of the dumb son of a bitch and bring it up. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, Sharon Tate, Jay Sebring, Abigail Folger, Wojciech Frykowski, Stephen Parent are not here with us now in this courtroom. But from their graves, they cry out for justice. You have just judged yourself. The world had never before witnessed anything like the Manson family. And God help us all if there's anything like it ever again. You say there are just a few? Well, there are many, many more. And they're running in the streets. They're all running in the same direction. And they're running right at you. Hey, Barry Bo here. America's best crime writer. Sunshine Room Studios. Beautiful suburban folk crop. I bet you're wondering, what's Steve McQueen got to do with the Manson family murders? Well, like this. Charlie Manson, by the way, no idea why anyone in their right mind would ever follow this asshole. But they did, and in numbers. But I digress. Charlie had a hit list of Hollywood stars. Frank Sinatra, Richard Burton, Elizabeth Taylor, and Steve McQueen were four names on the list. But sitting at the top of the list was one Terry Melcher, Doris Day's son, and a record producer. Charlie had a hard-on for Melcher because Melcher rejected purchasing some of Manson's songs in the past. So, on the night of August 8th, 1969, Charlie sent a band of his merry men and merry women to 10050 Sierra Drive in Benedict Canyon, outside of L.A. But Charlie hadn't done his homework. Melcher recently moved from that home to a beach house in Malibu. Roman Polanski and Sharon Tate were now renting the home, which they shared with at least Jay Sebring, Wojcik Frykowski, and coffee heiress Abigail Fulcher. Luckily for Roman, he was in Europe that night, but Sharon Tate and Jay Sebring were throwing a party. They'd invited Steve McQueen to attend, and he accepted. But here comes a but. But Steve McQueen had just started squiring a sexy blonde. And Steve invited his mystery fling, as he referred to her, to go to the party with him. However, she told him, and I quote, she had a better idea for just the two of us. Needless to say, that's the best piece of ass Steve ever notched onto his belt. So, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Mm -hmm. See you. And that's a wrap.